Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are confused about the backdrop for this video right now, I don't blame you because <laughs> all of my books are in my closet. You never would have guessed. It's fine. <laughs> in a previous video, I mentioned that I moved in with my parents to their new house for about a month before I set off on my super mega solo road trip of the US and parts of Canada for eight months. So because I didn't have all of my bookshelves set up, I couldn't put my books on the non-existent shelves. Well, now I have the shelf set up again, but in the meantime, I had to put my books somewhere. And in a stroke of, you know, genius would be taking it too far. <laughs> In a stroke of something, I decided to put them in the closet because that's where everyone thinks to put their books, right? So I have a closet full of books. And so I'm going to open the closet. I'm going to show you all of the books, which you've seen before in videos. I can't remember quite how many books I have, but it's a bunch. And because all of my books have been in the closet, I haven't been able to put my clothes in the closet. <laughs> this is just reader problems. Am I right? <laughs> totally normal. So the plan for today is to get the books out of the closet. I'm going to try and organize them on the shelves. The question is going to be if I need another bookcase. I used to have two really tall bookcases and I only have one right now. So probably I am going to need that extra bookcase, but I guess I'll find out now. And my other goal for the day is that I want to make a rainbow bookcase. I think those look so fun. They're so pretty on Instagram. And I've talked before about how I don't totally get rainbow bookshelves, but because this room is going to be more a guest room than it really is going to be my room, I thought it would be nice to have like an art form since, I mean, you guys are going to see, but there's just bookshelves everywhere and this room's pretty small. so. <laughs> I figured why not make it look pretty and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take all the books that I own that I haven't read yet and I'm going to use them to make the bookcases. And I also will try not to use any series but we'll see. That way it's not weird if a series isn't next to each other because that's one of the issues I usually have with rainbow bookshelves is that it doesn't make sense when a series isn't next to each other. But yeah, so if I do standalone books and all books that I haven't read I figure it makes it really easy so I can just pick off a book and other people can look at it and enjoy the rainbow art. So let's get started. <laughs> but first we have to open the closet. The closet full of books. Let's do this. <laughs> I don't know how impressive this looks right now. <laughs> or how insane, but I'm gonna take you and we're gonna get a closer look. Let's do this. <laughs> so you can see kind of like an idea of how many books there are and how high they're stacked and how many how many books deep everything is. This is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> I got a closet, got a closet full of books. I got a closet full of books and they're all mine now. Whoa! <laughs> Read what you want and you're never gonna make me pages and something. You're never gonna take them away from me, no. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, so I figure the first step is just to go through all of the books and put them on the shelves. <laughs> I'll kind of sort them out as I go and I'll say if I have or haven't read it yet. And for all those I haven't read yet that aren't part of a series, maybe I'll put the ones that are part of a series on another shelf. Oh man. <laughs> that seems like it shouldn't take too long. I, I don't know now. Having watched a couple of rainbow bookshelves, if it's going to take more or less time just ordering them once I've figured it out or or what. <laughs> Let's do this. So you can kind of see what we're dealing with here. If I move this, you can see these three bookcases are going to be the ones that make up the rainbow bookshelves. I have two extra small ones here and then one tall one that already has my castle book and my R2-D2 hat, and then my desk. So you can kind of see what I'm working with here. So none of these are going to go on the shelves, one, because it's a series, and two, because I've actually read all of these books. But point being, series and books I've read before, not on the rainbow. The rainbow that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> And one other thing to mention is that I love nonfiction and travel books and memoirs and things like that, but I'm not going to put them on the rainbow shelves. So things like this, they're going to go up here. <laughs> you know the real troubles half the time, even knowing when something 
is part of a series. Like, at least this one says the Kanan Chronicles, so I can assume, but... Man, carrying books is such a workout. This process could take a while. I'll come back to you all in a bit. <laughs> so, it looks like it's almost done, but it's not. So it's really just this middle chunk that I finished because I still have this whole stack here. And then this whole stack here. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of room left on the bookcases, which means I'm going to have to start getting creative. These are the books that are, as of right now, potentially maybe going to be the Rainbow Bookshelves. Maybe. I think I'm going to revise my rule for books like... Kirsten White's And I Darken. I don't have the second book. I know that Now I Rise is out. I think there might even be another one coming, but I, I don't have it and I haven't started it. So I feel like, especially because it's the first in the series, there's no harm in putting it on the shelf. Rationally. Because there's no other place that this series would be in this room. <sighs> Whatever, we're going with it. <laughs> the other problem as I see it now is that I don't know that all these books are gonna work out for the color. I don't even know if this rainbow bookshelf is possible at this point. It might just be one shelf, who knows? <laughs> I've taken to watching videos while I work because this is hard. Do people talk about how hard this is usually in videos or do I just complain a lot? So many books. Literally none of those went on that shelf. Did they? I think I got two. Two of that whole stack of books managed to get on that shelf. Whew, oh buddy. Well, am I slowly regretting this decision? Yes. But is there any turning back now? Nope. Yay! A closet that's meant for, you know, clothes and other stuff. I also have pillows. Just, you know what? We're gonna shut these. A closet that's now a closet. Serving its purpose. Goodbye. The problem, you see the one shelf that's not filled. The problem is that, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, oh, look at that. Beautiful. So now I have all of the books that technically followed the rules I set up, figured out, and on the shelves. And all the rest of the books that don't follow my own personal made up rules are in piles over there. Now I have to figure out if I can rainbow this ish. And what I'm realizing now is that of the books that follow the rules, some are like full black, black and white or white and black or whatever, <laughs> which means that they could maybe be the ends of the rainbow, but it's, it's just gonna be a little bit tougher than I thought. So what I think I might do is set up the top two shelves. On all three bookcases, the top two shelves will be rainbow, and the bottom one might just be like alternating black and white. I already see that this plan is probably not gonna work, but who cares, let's try. That is my general life motto. <laughs> let's do this. be and I'm willing to bet that like part of it was because I had so many extra rules for what books I was going to be allowed to use. Not that many books to create the rainbow and 
I obviously fudged it a little bit. I'll give you a little bit more of a tour here in a second, but just so you know, the problem is while everything looks really cool behind me, I am still staring out at a mass of books. Because what I'd like to do is have things like, you know, a whole bookcase dedicated to my nonfiction. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't know if that's enough space. I might have too many books. This is my problem every time. Do I have too many books? Yup. You know what? This is the best kind of problem to have. I'm surrounded by books. <laughs> Life's good. So many things to read. I'm happy. <laughs> and now I have a rainbow, which if y'all know anything about me, I'm obsessed with. So, all good things. Well, still staring at books. Not yet. Almost all good things. So let's start making it all good things. Let's go. So from this I think you can kind of tell that I fudged the ends. Like I had some black books with red on them that I just tried to add to it and then I kind of messed up exactly how the purple was going to work over here. I mean messed up isn't like exactly the term I'd use but it's kind of close enough. The bottom rainbow. And then the top rainbow. And then from my shelves, you can see the mess that I'm still looking at. Truly really just a whole bunch of books. I'm hoping the documenting of the struggle that I'm looking at will make it all the more impressive when I fix it. If, if I fix it. <laughs> because of course, I may have to get another bookcase. A tall one, a big one, which is what I was thinking of, but I would also like to make it work and not have to do that. So it's a mystery to me now. Let's see if I could do it. <laughs> no faith. Also, I forgot while I was going through this, there are a couple books that were so awesome because they were basically rainbows by themselves on the spine. The problem with that for the rainbow bookcase is that of course, I can't put a just rainbow everywhere book in the middle of the rainbow, like rainbowception. That would be awesome though. <laughs> books like Will Grayson, Will Grayson. Do you see the rainbow? I'll give you the sun. I mean, obviously. Even this feed book, it's just kind of like a muted rainbow. And rainbow might not be the right word, obviously, but it's like muted with a whole bunch of colors, you know? So it just made it a little bit harder and I couldn't figure out how to place it. And then same with me and Earl and the dying girl. These spines are awesome. So many colors. But where on my freaking rainbow do I put this book, okay? <laughs> So now I just have to make this shelf fit. I don't think it's gonna fit. All right, it's like a week later. I did have to go and buy another big bookshelf like this one. So now that I have it all put together, I have to transfer the numerous books on the floor onto the shelf. <laughs> this is gonna take some creative moving and also is going to take putting some books back in the closet. But this time, <laughs> the books will actually be on a bookcase. So I'm just gonna have some bookcases in my closet reader problems. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> so as you can see, 
I have one row of books left and I have completely run out of shelf space, even with the new one, which means that we're about to get creative and see what I can do. Ooh. I don't have a lot of faith in my abilities, but, but we'll see. Well, it only took me like two weeks to finish or three weeks almost at this point. When did I start doing this? Anyways, I am finally done with all of my bookshelves and I'm ready to show y'all. And you'll see what I had to do. I had to get real creative on the bookshelf over here. Um, but you know what? I think it works. And I'm actually about to leave tomorrow on my super mega road trip. So this could not have come at a better time. You know, I guess sooner, sooner could have been a better time. And I do still have books in my closet. So at the start of this video, I was so sure I was gonna get them all out of there. And instead I put three bookshelves in there. So you know what? This is, this is good. <laughs> I am happy ultimately with how it turned out. So let's get to it. Let me show you. All right, quick pan of everything. Two big bookcases, the three small ones. And then the closet. So let's get more into what everything is. <laughs> Goodbye. Classics, manga, the black and white books I haven't read. And then the books that make up my rainbow shelf. Harry Potter, you know, best series ever. Castle book. And then young adult in alphabetical order. Let's go up over here. This is where I had to get creative with things. So you can see I had to stack some of the books on top that would have been at the bottom. These are like anthologies. And then at the very bottom shelf, you can see I had one series that I just could not fit. And then the other final shelf, two more anthologies. But otherwise, I think I almost got everything perfectly. Back to the closet. So first off, it starts out in alphabetical order for adult romance-y kind of series. And then I get back into alphabetical order completely. And then the rest are non-fiction-y memoirs in alphabetical order. And after all of that, I am once again sitting in front of my closet. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all very soon with the new video. Bye. I got a pocket, got a pocket of all sunshine. I got a love that I know that it's all mine. Oh. For about a month, I'm leaving on my super mega solo road trip for eight months. Super mega solo road, yeah. I am happy ultimately with I got a closet, got a closet full of books. I got a closet, got a closet full of books and it's all mine, oh, whoa.